We were first to report this morning that data stolen from the city of Columbus now leaked into the dark web. Thousands of files, including passwords and employee logins, now free to be used by cyber crooks. They are showing the profiles for a bunch of users. We're with IT consultant Daniel Maldit with CMIT Solutions. As he reviews data stolen from the city of Columbus and leaked Thursday morning on the dark web after a $2 million ransom in Bitcoin was not paid and the swiped info not bought at auction. They could be backup files for HR or employees or, you know, could be sensitive data. Hackers calling themselves Ricita claim last month they stole 6.5 terabytes of data from the city. Meldit says less than half, more than 225,000 files now posted in two folders on Ricita's website. If someone had a file on their computer that had sensitive information in it, then that would be available here. Meldit believes the rest of the stolen data may have been sold or not released by the hackers. Mayor Ginther, who has not spoken publicly about the incident in two weeks, has said the city was able to prevent even more data from being stolen when the city unplugged from the Internet. ABC6 asking to speak with the mayor Thursday, but instead receiving this statement, which reads in part, while a foreign cyber threat actor claims to have released city data, it has not been validated that the data is usable or valuable. The fact that the threat actor's attempted data auction failed is a strong indication that the data lacks value to those who would seek to do harm or profit from it. The city is presently performing forensics to assess the extent of the data stolen and released. The mayor goes on to say because of an ongoing investigation, the city's ability to comment is limited. Since the hack, at least a dozen FOP members say their personal information has been compromised. And we are learning some Columbus firefighters also targeted. We've had a handful of members reach out uh, with credit polls, information uh, potentially showing up on the dark web. Information now being mailed to city workers' homes, how to sign up for credit monitoring and identity theft prevention services for two years. Meldit says the one thing not to do, troll the dark web to try and see if your information was stolen. No, I don't, I don't suggest that at all, just because it's, it's way too risky. On your side, Steve Levine, ABC6 News.